Shopping used to be an hours long experience done in person with lots of other customers around. Well, today, many consider going to the store to be a chore and prefer solo shopping to be done as quickly as possible. Often with a few clicks on a keyboard. Guilty here. <laughs> when an insider, Jim Williams, takes a look at this trend and the impact on department stores. We felt like we were going to the ritziest store in the world, and it was right here in Chicago. Leslie Goddard is recalling visiting Marshall Fields. For her, department stores are personal. My grandfather worked for Marshall Fields for about 25 years. My aunt and uncle met working at Marshall Fields. I worked at Marshall Fields. Now Goddard is an author and historian and just wrote the book, Lost Chicago Department Stores. I was interested in the memories, but also in what led to their rise and what has led to their fall? First, the rise. Look at the crowds. You're struck by their success. Chicago department stores during the past century. Chicagoans loved it, loved it. At one point in the 1940s, eight department stores filled State Street from Congress to Randolph. Marshall Fields would become a hometown favorite, thanks in part to the famous Walnut Room restaurant and holiday window displays. To this day, the plaque outside the now Macy's store on State Street remains popular. There are very, very few institutions in the U.S. where tourists will come and take photographs of themselves in front of the corporate logo. But make no mistake, department stores are in decline. Macy's recently closed its water tower store, the lettering from the sign a reminder. I'm sad about the loss of department stores. Sears began as a catalog and opened its first downtown department store on State Street in 1932. Its last department store in Illinois at Woodfield Mall closed last year. Sears was at one point sort of the Amazon of its day. In 2018, we saw Carson's turn into mannequin graveyards before shutting down for good. At this point, department stores have basically just become big clothing stores. We turned to Morningstar consumer analyst David Swartz for some insight. Amazon is to blame in part. People don't need to go to, to walk around a, a department store for hours and look at stuff to, to know what's out there because they can go online. Today, they're a very small part of our lives and many people are starting to wonder whether the pandemic is going to mean the end of the par department store. Will they survive? Yes. I mean, th there's going to be department stores, um, but it, they're not going to be what they used to be. In the Loop, Jim Williams, CBS 2 News. Our analyst tells us the overbuilding of malls in the U.S. and the decline of middle class also really hurts department stores. For more stories like this one, download our new app and look for the section called Morning Insiders.